Welcome back. This integral, I will consider whole d is equals to square root of a plus square root of b and we will find a, b in terms of x. Okay. So, let us consider square root of x square plus 1 plus square root of x4 plus x square plus 1 is equals to square root of a plus square root of b. So, we need to find a, b in terms of x. So, squaring on both sides, we have x square plus 1 plus x square root of x4 plus x square plus 1 is equals to a plus b the whole square is a square means square root of a the whole square is a plus square root of b the whole square is b plus twice square root of a into square root of b is square root of a into b. So, by comparing what we have is x square plus 1 equals to this and this equals to this. So, x square plus 1 equals to a plus b and another is what we have square root of x4 plus x square plus 1 is equals to twice a b. Okay. Now, if I square, if I do square on both sides, then x4 plus x square plus 1 equals to 2 to the 4 square root of a b the whole square is we have a into b. So, if I do squaring on both sides here also, what, what I will get a plus b whole square is x4 plus twice a b means twice x square plus 1 is equals to a plus b whole square is a square plus twice a b plus b square. So, now this equation and this equation, if I subtract this, okay. Now, if I give minus in this equation, so subtracting these two equations, we have, <coughs> so I am giving minus over here, okay. So, x4, x4 gets cancelled, x square plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled on the left hand side, a square twice a b plus b square. This is a minus b the whole square equals x square. So, if I taking square root on both sides x equals to a minus b. Okay. So, we have this. We have x equals to a minus b and another is we have what we have is another what we have is x square plus 1 equals to a plus b. From these two we can find a and b in terms of x. So, we have this. So, if I add these two, minus b plus b gets cancelled, what I will get x square plus x plus 1 equals to twice a or you can say a equals to this upon 2. Okay. So, we have value of a. We need square root of a. So, square root of a is equals to 1 by root 2 square root of x square plus 1 x square plus x plus 1. I am taking square, square root on both sides. Okay? Now, if I have to find b, then let us subtract this. So, I will give minus over here. So, what I will get x square minus x plus 1 is equals to, I am giving minus over here, minus a plus a gets cancelled. So, here twice b. Twice b. Therefore, b equals to this upon 2 we need square root of b. Therefore, square root of b equals to 1 by root 2 square root of x square minus x plus 1. So, we have square root of b as well as square root of a. So, let us substitute over here. Okay. Therefore, this integral is same as square root of minus half to half. We have 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. So, I will take 1 by root 2 outside. 1 by root 2 a is square root of x square plus x plus 1 plus square root of x square minus x plus 1 into dx. Now, we have x square plus x plus 1. 
So let's make perfect square. Okay. So E is equals to if I want to make perfect square, then x square plus twice I need already x we have. I need to put one by two plus twice a b plus one by two the whole square plus one. But this is extra. So minus one by two the whole square. Then from here to here is x plus one by two the whole square plus yeah one minus one by four. Okay. So is three by four. Three by four is same as I can say root three by two the whole square. Okay. Now similarly this also same. Similarly, x square minus x plus one will be x minus half whole square plus root three by two the whole square. Here only minus will come over here. So therefore one by root 2 integral minus half to half and instead of this I can write like this instead of this square root of x plus half the whole square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square and then plus I am separating okay I am separating integral 1 by root 2 integral minus half to half and then this is ms square root of x minus half the whole square <coughs> plus root 3 by 2 the whole square into dx. Now let's call this is i1 and let's call this is i2. Okay. Now for i1, for i1, let's substitute this equal, let's substitute t equals to x plus half then my dt equals to dx or our limits when x tends to minus half then t tends to 0 again when x tends to half then t tends to therefore 1 by 2 0 to 1 this becomes square root of t square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square into here we have dx okay here we have dx so dx become dt here dt similarly for for i2 okay let's let's for i2 also for i2 let's substitute u equals to x minus half then du equals to dx x tends to minus half then u tends to minus 1 when x tends to half u tends to 0 okay this is i1 okay this is i1 and i2 equals to integral minus 1 to 0 we have 1 by root 2 and this is this become what u square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square into d u therefore d is equals to this over here okay so now it is of the form here we have x square plus a square here also square root of x, x square plus a square but here limits are different okay? now we have formula formula integral square root of a square plus integral square root of x square plus a square dx is equals to x by 2 square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of x plus x square plus a square plus c. Now apply this formula over here okay and then substitute the limits for this for this integral remember you have limit from 0 to 1 over here and then for this integral we have limit from minus 1 to 0 okay apply this apply this formula you will get you will get answer okay you will get answer is equals to equals to this this is somehow lengthy answer so i am giving you homework over here okay this is simple just apply this formula and then just apply this formula and then substitute upper limit minus lower limit you will get this okay